Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. All the way back on December 2024 we did this battle, Battleship versus Torpedo Swarm. Very simply, we put an Iowa class battleship in the Persian Gulf, we just kept it there static and charged at it a swarm of 20, 40, I can't remember, Iranian torpedo boats. Very simply, the battleship had to just sit there, use its 16 inch and then its 5 inch guns to deplete the hostile swarm, hopefully before they got within torpedo range. It was a fun battle, but there was one niggling thing that annoyed me and annoyed you guys too, and that was that. The Iowa wasn't firing very efficiently. If you remember, all three main turrets on the Iowa battleship in sea power have to shoot at the same target. Of course, the real battleship, each turret can be independently targeted at a different vessel. But that's now been fixed. There's a mod out now by Ewok Pilot, and I'll put the link in the video description, which allows us to target each turret independently. Which is great because we now can test which is going to be the best method of firing. The setup is very simple. We have one Iowa battleship here. Attacking it are four squadrons of World War II destroyers. Each squadron of destroyers will charge at flank speed towards Iowa to try and get within gun and torpedo range and hit Iowa. Iowa has to sink all 20 of these ships, obviously, before she gets hurt. We're going to run it once with the turrets all linked together, and then obviously we're going to try it with the independent turrets. We'll measure success, I guess, by the distance at which point all destroyers have been shot, or some other metric. We'll figure it out. And I guess as simple as that, viewers, uh, note the time. It's two minutes and and five seconds it will be. I'm going to unpause, I'm going to put it in weapons free. Off we go. So first, all turrets linked together, which I think is going to be less efficient. I can't really explain why. I just think there's going to be more wastage. Oh yeah, there's going to be one more thing as well, viewers. There's a really annoying, I don't know if it's a bug, glitch, whatever, in the core game, which means that once a target has been hit and is uh, completely immobilized, i.e. is not moving, then it will still continue to fire at them until that ship is completely sunk. Now that's stupid, that wouldn't happen in real life obviously because Iowa's radar knows that that ship is immobilized. Once it's immobilized, it would move to another target. So we're gonna monitor, once we see a ship that's immobilized, we'll just remove that from the map so we don't have that annoying glitch. If you look closely at the vessel, she actually rocks when the guns are fired. Maximum firing range of guns, 21 nautical miles. It's a good day for gunnery. Winds aren't too bad. Visibility good. Not that it really matters. She'll be firing on radar anyway. Still, shells haven't landed. A minute and a half later, nearly two minutes later, I think, have some shells landed here? No, still no shells landed. Has she just missed? There we go, shells landing. Just imagine that 16 inch shell smashing down on your lead destroyer. Oof. Well, no hit so far. I mean, there's going to be a bit of randomization in here because, you know, whether each shell actually hits a vessel is random, but it's because so many shells are going to be fired, it's going to kind of equal itself out in here. Well, some pretty terrible gunnery, to be honest. Ha! Huh. I'll take that back. Right, so we're going to watch that vessel, and if it goes down to zero knots, we're just going to take it out of the game. Otherwise, she will literally sit. Oh no, it's fully gone. All right, she will probably move on to a new vessel now. Boom. Yep, she's moved on to a new vessel. In fact, a completely different group. I'm not sure why she's moving like that. She doesn't need to. I've put her broadside anyway, so I don't know what that's all about. All right, I'm going to speed it up now, viewers, because it will take time, and your time is always precious. One destroyer down so far, and it's been four minutes, so that's incredibly disappointing. Another one. Another one down. Well, she's still moving at five knots, so she's still a threat, so I'll let her carry on. And this is kind of the annoying thing, right? This is the efficiency we were talking about. This guy is not dead yet, still moving at five knots, but all, all of the mothership's cannons are concentrating on that guy. It's just a huge inefficiency, right? Whereas two other turrets could be working on two other vessels. Still five knots, still going. Come on, we need a direct hit of midships. Obviously, the closer the vessels get, the more accurate the shells are going to become. 
She's down. I am just going to get rid of her really quickly. Pop, all gone. And that's because she's dead, obviously, but she'll just sit on the surface and I will just keep hitting her. Which, as I said, is stupid because Iowa knows the speed of that vessel and it would go on to another target in real life. So I'm just helping her out, but I'll do it fairly each side, each time. Uh, right, what's she attacking now? Speed it up. Vessel hit. Still moving. Still five knots, keep an eye on her speed. Boom! Still moving, five knots, still in, in the game. Still five knots. Still alive, still five knots. Vessels are now 15 nautical miles away, so they're three quarters of the way there, and they're gonna start firing soon. I get the feeling that she's not... I had an image of uh, Iowa just wiping all these vessels out in five minutes. Uh, because I was wrong, viewers. If not, we'll choose a different metric about how we measure this. Alright, zero knots. I'm removing her from game. No, she's still one knot. She, no, there we go. Boom, removed. Next vessel. Amazingly, only three destroyers sunk. And at 13 miles now, about 10 miles, they have range to fire back. definitely improving. Boom, hit. And that's going to be zero knots. And wait to zero knots. And oh. Remove her. Alright. Four vessels down. Is it four? Yeah, it's four, isn't it? Turning again. Yeah, accuracy really improving now. Got to get her down to zero knots again. And two... One. Zero not to remove. Maybe not the sexiest way of doing it, viewers, but just trying to make it so it's fair each time. You! You're the chosen one to have all nine guns firing. Ten knots. Distance 10.52 miles. Wow, oh, she's a tough cookie. They look strong in Britain, viewers. Two, one knot, zero, remove, well, I must admit I've lost count now, alright, okay, so what's happened there is they've got in range and they're starting to fire back, so at this point it's all going to get a little bit more exciting, but it's not really what we want at this point, we want to find out how effective our guns are while we're not under fire. So, if we make a note of the time there, 21.49. So, 21.49, we stopped the experiment. Let's just count how many vessels have been lost. Also, our five inches have started firing now, which is going to pollute the results. So, they have lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've lost seven vessels. Let me just double check that. Welcome back. We now have independent turrets. Um, looking at the time. And now to be exactly the same as when we can fire. Otherwise everything's the same apart from the turrets. Let's see first of all whether they actually try and target independently. I'm leaving AI to control everything here. Yes, they are. Good boys. Well, look, there's a chance there we could hit our own shell from that cannon and that cannon. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you independent gunnery. Right, now we're going to have to do our job. We're going to have to watch which ships get hit and delete them if we need to because of the glitch. So we're just going to have to bounce between groups here. Wow, someone's been hit already. Ooh. Keeping an eye on him. Someone's... No, someone's not hit over there. Five knots still in the game. Let's check. This is going to be quite difficult for me, actually, trying to find out which vessels have been... Disabled. This group, no hits. This group, no hits. This group, definite hits. Ten knots still going. This group, no one disabled. We are four minutes into the sim. I'm 
can kind of see when one's disabled. Okay, five knots still going. Fifteen knots still going. Group unhit, group unhit. Check up here. Five knots still going. Not looking good for independent gun turrets. Is he out? No, he's still going five knots. It's almost like with independent guns, they just don't have enough punch. To finish the ships off. And they're not super big ships, they're just destroyers, you know, they're just... Now, if you're wondering why I didn't do torpedo boats like last time, viewers... Hey, we got one! Right, he's fully destroyed, so they won't fire him anymore, but just in case, I'll remove him. If you're wondering why I didn't do torpedo boats, viewers, well, I did try, actually, before setting it up with destroyers, and unfortunately, the 16-inch guns just can't really hit those boats. Someone's been hit over there, I need to go and find out who it was. Um, because they move so fast, the guns can't lay down enough lead, if that makes sense, uh, so I've had to switch to destroyers. Still five knots, still going. Five knots, still going. Well, rules are rules, viewers. Got to uh, mobilise it. Let's check up here. Did someone hit. Five knots, still going. There's just not enough firepower. To... Yet this guy's going to stop, and he's down. Let's delete him completely. All right, getting the rack together now. Ha! Huh. Well, this is interesting. This entire group is. Okay, they're manoeuvring because this guy is... Five knots, he's still going. They're just having to manoeuvre around him. So, that guy's there. These guys are all moving at full speed. What's happened there? Three knots, two knots. One knot. Oh, this one's fixed itself. It just stopped to manoeuvre. No, this one's completely out now. Two knots, one knot. And it's sunk. Remove it just to make sure. Right. Yeah, not the sexiest viewers, but just trying to be fair as possible. This guy's out. Let's get rid of him. Boom. What else have we got? So, this squadron's fully moving. This squadron is fully moving. This squadron is immobilised. Two knots. One knot. You're out of there. This is a bit more exciting, this one, viewers. Right, let's go up here. Squadron fully moving. Another one hit already. Can't keep up with the destruction. Well, terrible start, but things have really kicked into gear now. Got to keep an eye on him, viewers. Squadron fully moving. I know you want to watch Iowa, but I've got to do this, viewers, because otherwise the uh, results will just be completely unfair and stupid, right? Squadron still moving. Speed, five knots. Speed. Five knots. It's legal. Oh, yeah. He's seen better days, right? He thinks he's a submarine. He's down. Delete him. All right. Cooking on gas now. Let's check here. Oh, look. He was at zero knots and then... I don't know what that was. Five knots. It's still legal. It's still legal. Uh, time. What was the time? I'm just going to pause for you and find out what the time was when we stopped. It was 21.49. It's now 18.25. Uh, All right. Carry on. He's still moving at five knots. I can't delete him. Three, two, one. One knot and zero knot. You're out of there. Oh, this is jolly good science. What's the best science, viewers? Aviation-based science or sea-based science? As long as guns are involved, I'm keen on both, to be honest. Right, time is still good. I've got to have a quick look down the squadrons. Squadron one is... Jesus Christ, another one hit. This is absolutely chaotic. Okay, but not down. Squadron two is moving. Squadron... This squadron's got a problem... Five knots is moving. Five knots, it's sinking but moving. Squadron four is still fully moving. Got to check this out. What's going on over here? I've forgotten. That guy is... Ten knots. You're out of there! Oh, jeez, so many getting hit now. I can't keep up. Going, going, going. Hit. Five knots, still legal. Check these guys. Ten knots, still going. I hope you can hear my voice, by the way, viewers. Sea power is so much louder than you think it is. Five knots still going. You're out of there! Okay, squadron. Still going. No, someone's here. Oh, I can't keep up now. You're out of there! Wow. This is a bit of a turn up for the books. Check Iowa. Oh, look. Oh, 
Pause. Okay, ah, I've gone past the time. God, nummy viewers. I've gone past the time, but it doesn't matter because look how much more damage it had done. So last time we ran to 21 minutes and 49 seconds. This time we've gone to 23 minutes and 24 seconds by accident because I've got into it a bit too much. But by that time, it doesn't matter because independent gunnery had wiped out so many more ships. Let me just count what we are at 23 minutes and 24 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a whole bunch more about to go down and already hit. That guy's pretty much down. That guy's going to go down. That guy's on fire. So I wanted to be a bit more empirical than that, but you can already see it's about 20% better, right? And you could kind of feel it. The, the vessels are being dropped so much quicker. The question to you guys is why? Why is that extra efficiency there? And I go back to my point at the beginning. I think there's just less wastage than there was before. I can't really explain it because I'm not smart enough. But I think there's less... Um, point in the shots being made that kind of makes sense i reiterate it wasn't as perfectly as efficient as i wanted to show it but it was it was definitely better you can just you could tell by that point there the 21 minutes and 49 seconds i'd imagine nine vessels were down and probably another one was damaged which is a lot better than the combined guns or the combined turrets was right we'll just play it out to the end here viewers now the interesting thing is we're at the maximum gunnery range of the destroyers but we're at half the gunnery range of the 16 inches so presumably 16 inch why has he stopped for some reason they've all just stopped here now i don't think the combined i probably should have continued the combined gunnery version to see who actually won but i suspect probably the destroyers would have won this time around oh i don't know it's touch and go isn't it It's finally fully disabled. The 16 inches are gone, 5 inches are gone. She's uh, she's sitting duck as the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 destroyers move in to torpedo range. Well, viewers, so I think we've proved a really interesting point there. If you're using independent turret against a swarm, at least, you are more efficient. If you wanted to be super kind of anal about it, you could wind the video back to the exact point when we should have stopped, 21 minutes, 49 seconds. And you'll probably still see that she'd killed about 20% more stuff than um, she did on her linked turrets. Just to kind of prove the point. But I think we've seen what we need to see. And I think you guys are going to try and explain as this guy moves into torpedo. Oh, they don't have torpedoes. British destroyers without torpedoes. I didn't even realise that existed. Oh, well, guns it is. You guys can try and explain to me why you think that was superior gunnery with the unlinked turrets. This is interesting, viewers. We're 40 minutes into the sim now. I don't know, thousands of shells have hit Iowa, and yet she's not flooding at all. I don't think uh, these 4.5 inch shells have enough power to penetrate the armor to actually sink the ship. I think they would literally run out of ammo, so we're probably gonna have to end it there. Anyway, interesting results in my mind. Let me know what you think, and bye bye.